Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronica, Veronica Aldwindi. And if today is your first time stopping by, hey girl, please do not make it your last. Click the subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel, be part of my family, and most importantly, be part of my growth. Thank you guys so much for the love of my past videos. I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Today's video is a follow-up on my um, video on my on dating series, right? So I'm going to be giving you guys the end of the first story while i dive into another one all right if you haven't seen the first one please make sure you watch so you can understand this part of the story but first can we take a moment to appreciate the color pink i mean <laughs> can we take a moment to appreciate this beauty <laughs> this, this hotness this pink on my skin bro gosh can we <laughs> So in the first story, I told you guys I went to the immigration office to do something. There yeah, I met the guy, right? So I went there. Let's say I went there on the 20th. My friend also went there on like the 22nd. So we had to go back together for like the final part of what we went there for. So the time, the month and the date of, um, of when we're told to come back had come so we decided to go together my friend and i although we didn't go there together to get it done but we decided to go together to like see the final result together so we went there so on getting there that was like going to be the first time the guy and i would see each other like after the whole incident on the phone after the whole cancel date and stuff that was going to be like be the first time we we're going to see each other of course it was going to be awkward right so excuse me so i went there with my friend and then the guy came he just came and then i was just like trying to avoid unnecessary drama so he came and then he was like ah, you were the one that said i should bring my face let you slap you know now you're by right. so straight up i was like no that's not the case you were the one that shouted uh, at me on the phone so that was why i had to like return the favor so my friend was like what happened so i had to just i was like ah, i came here to get it done the same way you came now and um he just got my number and then he wanted us to hook up from there my friend was like hey this guy he did the same thing to me like he also got my number and then he was trying to link up <laughs> me that was feeling guilty that i snapped on him on the phone no more the guilt disappeared right there and there so i knew that this guy was just trying his luck up and down with different girls bro so i just said my friend then she was telling me that she straight up blocked his line the moment she got home because she didn't want unnecessary drama so apparently bro was just trying to link up with any girl that seemed to be available so he tried the same thing with my friend but she blocked him immediately before the whole thing would um could escalate like mine did so we were there we got what we went there for and um all the while that we were there we just tried to be cordial with each other and we left so since then no one has even communicated with the other person so that's that about that guy after that incident i finally went on a few days <laughs> let me tell you guys this i actually manifested this part of my life like this part of my life that is going out on dates right so i did it by getting dates outfit like dates wears clothes that i would legit only wear on dates or wear here to shoot a video so if you are looking forward to going out on dates getting asked to go on beautiful dates start getting date wears yeah start buying those clothes before you know it's it will pop up hmm? so i went on a couple of dates with really really cute guys like fine guys respectful guys like guys that i feel i could have something serious with other than just casual dates mm -hmm. so i went on those dates good food um great conversation great vibes i mean if you have me on a date with like if you go on a date with me it can't be boring except i'm sleepy because <laughs> i'm a very sleepy girl but if i'm on a date with you it cannot be boring so great conversation good food cute guys well dressed everything okay but what doesn't make these guys get a second or third date with me is that after the date like after the food after the whole conversation 
they want to take me home. See, why would you think a couple of rice and a couple of drinks would make me want to? Let's come on. No, no. It not gonna make me push it. It won't. Like, taking me out on a date should not end with me on your bed. Mm -mm. It shouldn't end like that. You buying me food, asking me to go out on a date with you, should not end with me having sex with you. Do you guys understand? Now, I don't know if I'm the one doing something wrong or if I'm the one who, is take, who takes myself seriously. Because I don't know why after one date or two, the next thing is for me to come to your house, to come and do what you think i would want to do with you if at all you want me to be your girlfriend i really do not think that's like the best way to go about it i don't think that's like the best way to ask me to date you to ask me to be your girlfriend i don't think so i can understand that sex is like the cheapest thing that you can give a guy right now which i still do not know how we got there ladies i don't know how we got there how sex became super cheap but my body is not cheap you legit can't get my body over a fine dinner if we have the conversation that this is purely going to be transactional or we are not going to put a label on it we're just going to be friends with benefit and stuff that's fine like own up to it tell me then i'll be the one to decide if that's what i want to do with you but for you to feel like okay you've done your part you've you bought me food, you've taken me out to this fine restaurant, you've given me food, then the next thing is for me to come and burn the energy on your bed. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I feel like I'm very old school, yes. I believe that even if at all we are dating, there should be like a level of intimacy that we have already before it becomes sexual. Like, we should have like inside jokes, I should know a couple of things about you before we then start getting sexual do you get so i don't know if i am the one doing something wrong or these guys are just reading me wrongly because i know for a fact that i will not like that's not just my kind of person that's not the vibe that i'm on right now so do you know what pains me is the fact that these guys are fine like they are fine they are people that i feel like a do something a lot more serious with and they are the ones fucking up God. <sighs> so that's the way my dating experience has been going on i don't know maybe i should get on the dating app who knows <laughs> and with that i've come to the end of today's video so if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe share leave a comment down below on where I can find the right guy. So, until next time, and Merry Christmas! <laughs>